Hey guys, my name is Dr. Sam. Now lately I made a video about deuteroside, which is a treatment that is used for hair loss. And I've had a few of you ask me in the comments section about whether you can use another natural supplement called Saul Palmetto for hair loss. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what Saul Palmetto is and what is the current medical evidence for use and can it treat hair loss? So keep watching. Welcome to my channel Swift Med NZ. If you have a question that you'd like me to do a video on, please post it in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoy my videos, remember to subscribe and you can also hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. What is Saul Palmetto? Saul Palmetto is an extract from the berries of the palm tree plant Saul Palmetto, which is known by its plant name Serenoa repens. The Saul Palmetto plant produces berries which are oblong in shape and maroon coloured. The extract of these berries are easily available and it's inexpensive. It's sold as a natural health supplement and it doesn't need a prescription. So how does Saul Palmetto work? So Serenoa repens is a naturally occurring 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. And you might remember that this is the same mechanism of action of other prescription medications for hair loss, namely finasteride and deuteroside. So uh, Saul Palmetto works by decreasing the uptake of dihydrotestosterone by the hair follicle and it decreases binding of DHT to androgenetic receptors. So what other things can Saul Palmetto do? Through the same mechanism of action that we just talked about, uh, they can also, Saul Palmetto has uh, been demonstrated to show treatment in small studies for benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is also called BPH. Uh, what is that? That's an enlargement of the prostate gland, which is not due to prostate cancer. And it often happens as men get older, um, the prostate gland enlarges. In 2006, a large study was done looking at men who have moderate to severe BPH and whether saw palmetto is better than placebo. So they look at saw palmetto and they look at placebo and they say, you know, which is better to, to work. And um, this was partially funded by the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicines, which is always a good sign because it means they're less biased in terms of the outcomes that they're looking for. And unfortunately, saw palmetto was not shown to be um, have any difference from placebo. And now I can hear you asking, what about hair loss? Uh, does saw, saw palmetto work for hair loss? And unfortunately, there's a lack of proper clinical trials showing the effects um, to support uh, that saw, saw palmetto treats hair loss. However, in 2012, there was a study done looking at 100 men and they were either given uh, finasteride or saw palmetto over a two-year period and they looked at whether there was new hair growth. And the results showed that 38% of men who were given saw, saw palmetto had an improvement in hair growth versus 68% of men who were on finasteride had an improvement of hair growth. Um, and while that may seem really disappointing, um, it could be interpreted that this saw palmetto is a valid option for men who have mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia. Now just a little bit more information about saw palmetto for you. So what are the side effects of saw palmetto? It has been shown to um, cause some breast enlargement and tenderness, um, reduce sexual desire and cause some mild stomach upset. Of course, when we're talking about a saw palmetto as a natural health supplement that you can get um, from health shops, it's worthwhile comparing it to something like finasteride, which does have its own side effects and issues and potential risks with taking it. So I think there's no magic bullet, but you have to weigh up, weigh up the potential risks. Um, the other thing to know about saw palmetto as an advantage is that it does not adversely affect the prostate blood test, prostate blood screening test, so PSA, so unlike finasteride, which does do that. So um, if you're worried about being checked for prostate cancers, um, this PSA will not be affected by saw palmetto. If you're thinking about trying saw palmetto, is there anything else that you should know? Well, firstly, I'd uh, the extract of the berries are the only bits that work, so you can't get the same effect from just eating the berries. It must be the extract. Um, also, with dose, uh, the dosage, dosage 
of saw palmetto that's been shown to be effective is 320 milligrams. They come in capsules and often you can have them in divided doses over the course of a day um, for it to work every day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already seen my video on other hair loss treatments like deuterosteride, please check it out here. And as always, if you've got a question that you'd like me to make a video on or just for me to answer, please post it in the comments below and I'll hopefully get back to you very quickly.